sensory stimulation and dementia. Neural pathways in our brains, like well-worn paths in the forest, carry messages around our brains and throughout our bodies. When neural pathways stop being used, the neurons along that path can atrophy, causing the brain to shrink. This can happen if people stop moving or bringing memories to mind. The neural pathways involved in sensory abilities falter naturally as we age, but they don't have to. If you stimulate your senses, you'll have a better chance of avoiding this brain atrophy. We'll discuss each of the five commonly known senses, starting with vision. After an eye checkup and accommodations, go a step further by intentionally stimulating your vision. Take a walk, visit an art gallery, or look at family photos, which have the added benefit of awakening some memories. You can also enjoy card games like Spot It or Blink or do jigsaw puzzles. Hearing loss increases your risk of dementia. Severe loss increases chance by up to five times. Perhaps this is because in the process of compensating for hearing loss, other parts of your brain, like your memory center, suffer. With hearing loss, you also stop hearing the conversation around you and can become isolated and lonely. Outside, you miss out on many sounds of nature which can help so much with stress. And perhaps worst of all, music fades from your life. Music is a powerful medicine for us all, whether we are happy or sad, alone or with friends, anxious, agitated, afraid or depressed. Music can activate circuits in your brain that have been long dormant. You've probably experienced for yourself how music can find its way to memories you thought you had lost. Please get hearing aids at the first sign of loss. Many of our strongest memories are also associated with fragrances, a certain shampoo with holding a baby, chocolate chip cookies with home and love, and fresh cut grass with summers. Unfortunately, smell is the sense most likely to be impaired by aging and nutritional deficiency. Zinc is important, so lentils, pecans, and sunflower seeds might help. Sinus problems also affect smell. To stimulate your sense of smell, consider aromatherapy, which makes use of oils extracted from plants. With aromatherapy, receptors in your nose send messages along a neural pathway to your limbic system, the part of your brain that controls emotions. Many people use diffusers to trigger these receptors. You can also use bathing salts, body oils, and other means to deliver the scents to your nose. The best oils for memory seem to be lavender, lemon balm, also called Melissa, peppermint, rosemary, bergamot, and ylang ylang because they promote calm and relaxation. Remember, stress and insomnia both raise your risk of Alzheimer's dementia. As for taste, this also declines with age. Don't be afraid to add spices, herbs, and other flavorings to your recipes to stimulate your taste buds. Some other suggestions, wean yourself off processed foods which overload your taste buds with sugar, salt, and the wrong fats. Chew your food more so that you have longer to register taste. Hydrate. Avoid smoking. Finally, take a moment to smell your food before you eat. Finally, there's touch, which has an amazing ability to decrease stress and anxiety and encourage relaxation. As we age, the sensation we receive from touching decreases, probably because of decreased blood flow to the nerve endings in the brain. Nutritional problems, medications, brain injury or surgery, or chronic diseases like diabetes can also affect our touch sensation. As your ability to feel decreases, so do the neural pathways marked out in your brain to register touch. To protect your sense of touch, first avoid burns, including sunburns, and exfoliate to remove calluses, especially on your fingertips. Apply an oil to keep your skin soft and sensitive. At the same time, increase your opportunities to feel. Massage is wonderful for this. Some people find that Tai Chi improves their sense of touch because it requires you to focus on your hands and fingertips. You can also enjoy sinking into a warm bath. Hug your loved ones. They have power. And hold hands as often as you can. Kiss each other. One last suggestion. Take advantage of multi-sensory therapies. One, massage can stimulate touch, hearing, soothing music, and scent, essential oils. Two, a walk outside can stimulate sight, hearing, scent, and touch. Three, a meal with a friend can stimulate taste, hearing, touch, sight, and smell. 
Four, dancing stimulates touch, hearing, and sight. Five, romance is also multisensory. There are so many joyful ways to keep your sensory neural pathways operating.